Hey guys, and welcome to this video. This is a new series I'm starting. As uh, seen on Twitter, if you're following me, it's going to be called Learning Maya Basics. So I'm going to have basics. Um, I'm going to have another one. I forget what it's going to be called, but then I'm going to have advanced. I forget the, what the middle one is. Intermediate or something like that. I don't know. I'll find it out later on. But I'm going to have basics, advanced, and the middle one. So in this one, in this uh, first part, uh, I'm going to show the basic UI and how everything is set up. So the basics pretty much are going to be like if you open Maya, you never used it before, you have no idea what you're working at right now, and that kind of stuff. So what you can see me moving around in is my perspective view. So this is pretty much what you're going to see in your uh, when you're rendering everything. Pretty much, uh, I guess I created a box real quick and set it in. This is a uh, inner scene right now, and this is uh, what you call your perspective view. If your 3D objects go in there and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to start my way or at the top and work my way down. So at the top you have your basic file, new scene, open scene, save scene, all that kind of stuff. You have your edit, copy, paste, delete, uh, duplicate, select, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you have your... Uh, now, after I think it's select, let me just check that real quick. After assets, yeah, after assets they change, or these ones can change at any time, depending on what you choose in here. So when you open it, this is pretty much what it's going to be set up with, without this. So like this. Um, so you see how in the animation one you have animate, so set key, um, skeleton, IK handles, joint tools, also what that was going later on, skin, character, then whenever we change it to like polygon, you see how it's mess, edit mess, normal, color, create UVs, proxy, edit UVs, and help is always there. So there's many different things. I'll get into more of what these um, different tools do in here. Not all of them, but stuff that you can use and all those kind of things. So going on to the next one, I already showed you this. You can just change it to whatever you want. Over here is uh, kind of another menu. There's a lot of menus in here. And over here is like your create new scene, open scene, save the current scene, and a bunch of other stuff that you may not use, except for maybe these ones, and of course these ones, which are rendering the current frame and stuff like that. Going down, you have your, or this little thing over here, which you can select different uh, menu bars again. So this just shows all of them in case it goes over and you can't see all of them. This will be a different way of getting into them. It'll start out over here for you. Uh, you can go keep mine on polygons for both of them because it's the one where you're using the most. And then you can just open other menus in case like you have a second screen, you can just open it on there. So going down some more, you have your or actually I'll finish this one. You can um these are just the same as up here, they have the same tools, except they kinda have a picture on them as you can see, which can be really helpful later on. And now uh moving on to the next part. Um, down over here is another menu because there's never enough menus in here. Uh, you can change like your camera if you had a camera in this scene. Actually, I do have a camera. Oh, never mind. Actually, so to my camera from my perspective camera. Uh, you can have like wireframe, so smooth, shade it all. These are going to later on. You have your lighting. So, in case you want to hide some stuff in the scene that you don't want. I'll go more into what's, what are, are all these later on. Your rendering, in case you want a like, high quality default, which is not that great, but still better. And going a bit lower, 
and you have another menu. Uh, over here is kind of the same as up here, but it doesn't show all of them. So this is the select camera one. This is your, uh, like, in case you have lighting and everything. Your high quality. It says it down, like, well, when I get down here, or I'm not just going to go down here. You see this thing over here, like, where my mouse is over? This pretty much just displays, as you can read it, it displays a sort of help tip for the tools you're over. And so, that's, a uh, like, you can see it's wireframe unsated for this one. Alright, moving on to the left. This is a... Um, let's say you were in a scene and you had this cube. You s this one is your select tool. So you can like select, drag select, and all that kind of stuff. This one is um, your lasso tool, which is pretty much a different way of selecting it. So let's say you want to just a small area or in a weird looking pattern you can say do the shape you want and select it. Moving down is your paint selection tool. I'm not going gonna go too much into this one because I never use it myself. Uh, your move tool if you have your object selected let me just, there we go this will pop up and you can actually move your object whatever way you wanted. Next one is your scale tool, or not scale, rotate. You can rotate your object with whichever axis you want. Your next one is your scale tool. You can scale in whatever direction you want. Same thing as your other tools. Uh, the next one is an advanced method of doing these kind of things. So you see how um, it, it, ha it includes every single, or all three of these. I personally never use these myself, but as you can see, selecting the corners scales it. This will move it. Uh, this will rot or move it all. This will rotate it on the axes. Your next one is your. Um, I'm not actually sure what this. Oh yeah, this tool is. I'm gonna explain this more later on, but if you go watch my uh, speed creation on me creating the environment this is the tool, the main tool that I use to create it so it's always a good thing to have if you're creating some environments in Maya that look realistic and your next one, this one I am not sure what it is so I'll get back on that one in probably the next video when I look it up going down some more you have your different views this is your perspective view, so the view you're in now. The one under it is your four view, your top, front, side, and perspective. This is uh, going to be the, one of the views you use the most. Let me just delete everything. The next one is your perspective tool, or uh, perspective outliner, I should say. If you add an object in the scene, it'll pop up in here and you usually want to keep this organized whenever you do make something pretty big and rename all the objects but I'll get into that later on in future videos your next one is your graph now I am not sure what this does completely but what I do know is it's used for animation me I never use this uh, I think I might if I ever get back into Maya but for now I'm not going to or, or try and learn it, but probably for you guys I will. Your next one, if it'll load, is your hypersade. And what your hypersade is, it's uh, pretty much creating different textures for different things. So I'll get into what the like different things mean, like Grin, Lambert, Fong, uh, Light Fog, File. Oh, file is kind of obvious. But I'll get into those later on. Next one is your graph plus your, uh, what is this called? Hy hypergraph? Yep, hypergraph. And what this is, it's um, kind of like your outliner. But as you can see, instead of it being just a name, it's a cube thing. So if you have different ones, it'll be like that. And if you connect them, I'm not going to do that in this video though. I'll show you later on what the, what can happen. 
going to the right is your attribute editors. I'll just do this back to you guys. And what your attribute editor is, is if you have a cube, it'll probably pop up like this for you guys. You have different, many different options in here. Um, but mainly I use this whenever I'm editing stuff. Let's say I want to edit the color of this. This is uh, what I would use. And then you have your channel box over here. You can change it to your channel box or attribute editor. Here is what I mainly use whenever I'm scaling something or moving something around. I can do like or five, let's say. It just moves it to that place, 5.5, so on and so forth. So know what this does. It just pretty much moves it, scale or rotates it, and scales it. Over here, you can change how many segments you have and the height and stuff like that. I'll go into that later on. Over here, well, we'll get into everything later on, as I say. Over here is your animation tool. This is what you use when you're animating. And I'll just give you a quick example. Let's just say you want to move it over here. You play it, and you see how it moves on its own whenever you play it. This is pretty much what you use whenever you're making some crazy big animation, which probably has like mil or not millions, but thousands of frames. And going a bit down, over here is you can adjust uh, how much you see. So let's say you had like, um, how about 500. So it's 1 to 500. You might not want it to 1 to 500. So you might want it like 250 to 255 to do really quick keyframes like edit everything in small areas just really good to have when you have a humongous amount of scene or have a whatever you call it uh, frames <laughs> I wasn't losing my words over here is your mail now I never use this to be honest Need I don't use anything below the animation frame. I'm not even sure what to do except for this. But I'll research this and get back to you in the next video before or at the beginning. And this is your script editor. Let's say I want to open it. It's a... Uh, this I used once before but it is really complicated for me to use so I'm not going to teach you guys this. Probably in the advanced once I figure out how to use it I will. So, I think that's going to conclude this video. I'm pretty sure I got everything. Uh, this I'm not actually sure what it does. What does it do? Oh, it just takes you to our website. So you probably don't want that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching part one. This will be out on Sunday for you guys, if I'm correct. Yeah, I said I post on Sundays. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.